All right, this is round two on the old KitchenAid dishwasher. You can see that it is not washing dishes, but that's not the problem I'm gonna solve in this video. In this video, I have a drain error. Now there's a whole bunch of things that could be causing a drain error. Your hose could be pinched off back behind your sink. You could have your drain pump not working, that kind of thing. But anyway, what I end up doing is pulling the dishwasher out to take a look at it, and I end up cleaning what is called a water inlet or on other models, I think Samsung calls it a water panel or whatever. So first thing I did, obviously I took the kick panel off, it's been off for a few days, and I turned off the power at the breaker. And then obviously I came and checked it, it only looks like I touched a white wire there, but the black wire is also right beside the white one, it's just hard to see in the darkness. There's a water hose that you might have to remove, uh, located right there, front left on this dishwasher and you also might have to remove water discharge lines, stuff like that. For me, all the lines are long enough that I could pull the whole dishwasher out without disconnecting anything, and so is the electrical connection. So you're, you might have a different situation. The only thing I did was take the two screws out for the discharge line and turn off the tap for the hot water, and that's it. So there's enough slack in all the lines that I could pull everything out. And then on the dishwasher, there's two screws, one on each side that go into the cabinet to hold it from shaking around, although I haven't really put those back in and uh, I really haven't noticed it moving around very much. So I will put them back in eventually, but for right now, I've got them uh, out of the dishwasher while I make sure that nothing's leaking. But anyway, there's also little access ports in the side of the dishwasher so you can reach through with the screwdriver and unscrew them. And then just looking behind the dishwasher, you can see how much slack I have in all the cables. So pretty happy with that. And here's, here's the culprit for the drain issue, or at least once I clean this, it solved the, the draining problem. And you can see the left side of this water inlet assembly, as they call it in the KitchenAid appliance parts uh, list is completely clogged up. And like I said, I've also seen it called a water panel but it's all gummed up with, I don't even know, fats and papers and just crud. That is on the outlet side, so you can see the drain hose going in on one side and out on the other side. And uh, on the far right side here, you can see that's the a water inlet, and then there's a little water meter thing. So, But there's two, two outlet hoses, and on the outlet side, the little vertical stack is all clogged up. So like I said, there is one sensor, and it has only one screw holding everything in. So pretty easy to get through. Little retainer clip that I took in the face, no big deal, I'll be okay. And then you could take the wiring off and wiring is a bit of a pain, it's on there pretty tight, but push it up and it comes off. You do need channel locks or some sort of pliers. There's a few clips that need to be compressed and then pulled back and then all the Hosing comes off. Good thing to have a towel. I probably should have had it underneath the dishwasher when I removed that hose, but I didn't. That's okay. Just clean water anyway, because that's the, the clean water side. And then, you know, there's a few variations on uh, clips on these hoses, but they all come off pretty easily. Again, value added to have that towel handy. And then again with the channel locks or pliers to remove the final discharge hose. So I'm not sure why the dishwasher goes in this cycle on the discharge line, sort of going back into the machine and then up this little loop and then back out the discharge, but it does. And then on the inside of the dishwasher, there's a big retaining screw and you just unscrew that and then the, the whole thing can come out. So I didn't film me reaching in there, but that is how it came out. Just by hand, it, I didn't need like pliers or anything to remove it. But obviously yours might be screwed on a little bit tighter. So to clean this thing, I didn't film it because it took me about two hours. I just put water in it, shook it up, then added more water, sort of covered the two uh, hoses, shook it again, added some baking soda, shook it again, put in vinegar, and then started using boiling water. And, and then eventually things started loosening up. And what I found was there's also a little float inside there. So it will allow you to suck air in, but not blow air through the two, uh, the two outlet hoses. So it'll block a blowing of air, but allow 
uh, a section of air. So obviously the whole line was clogged up, so it was neither blowing nor sucking, which is obviously not what you want in life. What that does exactly, I'm not sure, but it definitely cures my draining fault code. Uh, however, I would like to point out that when I was looking in the dishwasher, it didn't seem like there was actually a draining problem. It seemed to be draining fine, but it was still giving me that draining fault. So to put everything back together, obviously you just put that big circle into the big circle of the dishwasher and then screw the uh, plastic piece on the inside of the dishwasher back on, obviously hand tight, try not to cross thread it. And then really just put everything back in the reverse order. So put the first discharge line on, take the channel locks, compress the compression fitting, Obviously, make sure that the actual compression fitting is, is actually on the piece of uh, plastic, the spigot, so that it clamps it properly, and then uh, move on to the next one. For whatever reason, this one's different, and you just shove it in. I found that these ones are actually pretty stiff to get in there, and you have to give it a good shove, but eventually it will go in. I wasn't trying that hard. And then they do come with this little black clip, and the black clip just fits over top of it and that just prevents the hose from backing out. It is a fairly loose fitting clip, but I guess it does its job because there's no leaks. And then the water inlet line, again, it just goes over the little spigot end to make sure that the water inlet line is fully seated on there all the way down. And then again, just make sure that the clip is in a good position so that the line doesn't pop off. Pretty simple, good shot of the back of my head. And then for the wiring, for that little uh, meter connection thing, I, again, just put the wiring back on and then there's a little hole where the screw goes. Obviously line that up with the part of the dishwasher that it goes into and then just screw it in. That simple. So like I said, I didn't film myself cleaning it because it took like two hours. I contemplated just buying an entirely new piece of plastic for this thing, which I think they cost about 70 bucks Canadian, but I went the cleaning route, baking soda or baking powder, one of the two, I don't know which one, soda, I guess, vinegar, boiling hot water, regular hot water. I had some dishwashing soap in there as well, lots of shaking, and eventually everything came out or 99% of it came out. Went back, turned the hot water back on, and then put the discharge line screws back in so that it's uh, above the level of the dishwasher. And the codes went away. This worked for me. Maybe it'll work for you. There could be other problems. Like I said, you could have a problem with your discharge pump. You could have a problem in the back of your sink with something pinching the line or a, a few other things. So if this doesn't work for you, you may have to do some more investigative work. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Hope it helps you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.